Hold it, hold it, hold it! Sorry. You! Well, I think you've put on weight. <laughs> you rolled me about three months ago. I've been looking for you everywhere. Is this your place? My place. When did you move in here? Uh, about a month ago. Photography. Who taught you all this? State of New York. You're kidding! Rehabilitation. It's a new thing for first offenders. What do you do? Cheesecake and head ups? And all that? And all that? I always wanted to be a photographer. How much do you make? I do alright. Oh, you always had to look some jail that they sent you to. Did they teach you a trade on the inside? Oh, sure. L and L, four hours a day. L and L? Wandering latrines. I'm the new Mr. Clean. Hey, you're not. Mary, are you? <laughs> Hell no, she just comes in to, to walk, to clean. Oh, 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 she does more than that. <laughs> Lisa? Lisa? In a dump like this? You seen her yet? Not a trace, but you have her. You met her. She owes me two grand. Me too. She promised she'd double with me by the time I got out. Instead, she takes off. I'll kill her! You couldn't kill anyone. So, where's the action? What action? Like you said in your message, if you want to make a quick and easy grand. So, that's what I want. If you want a quick and easy grand, come to 2070 Grogan Street, make nine exactly, doors open. Only next time, open yourself. If you would have popped out of there a second sooner, you would have caught this in. You did send a message. No. You got the same message. Just like that, and it hung out. Who hung out? Search me, I thought it must be for you. And all this? Go on then, say it! This isn't your place, and you're flat out broke! You're not a photographer! You! You're not even a pornographer! I'm worse than broke. I owe 500 to a loan shark, and I'm late with Stay for, for say two fifty. If I don't come up with some cash by Monday, <laughs> two fifty he says, and I had eaten since I came out. So, how much for one of these cameras? You can't give them. Away. So, who lives here? Give me a minute. I'll find something. Now, what do we got here? Oh, enough cold cuts for a long weekend. Don't. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, Todd was crafty. Keep the 20 in the back of the freezer. So put it back and leave that alone. So, who lives here? Generated as soon as you're free. And the star can guzzle down any slop that you dig out. And now, if I can't find the mustard, I'll get the shakes! What do you sound like? I got it! I got it. What did who sound like? The Joker who phone. Oh, it was some kind of foreigner. Five the ones to on. Where were you when they called? My usual place. Yep. Mine. So? So? You saw? Got to be Lisa. What's through here? Bedroom and bathroom. Another entrance? No. There's an all the windows just like these. I wonder if this place has been bugged. Lisa! Shut up! Come out, come out from wherever you are!
Now, I'll be candid and honest with you, gentlemen. Strictly speaking, this is not my carpet. Now, I found it in the bank of the building, and uh, old Tyler Duncan, uh, the back there, seeing as it is a little damp and a bit cheesy. The dollar seventy-five, and I'll be on my way. Let's have the message and then get that stinking thing out of here. Where's Lisa? Beg your pardon, Mr. Tom. Let's get this straight, Buster. My name's not Tom. I've never heard of such a name. It's the grand name, don't you think? Good old Mike Tom. Now, don't you think it suits him fine? Sergeant Carpio. Sergeant who? And you will be Sergeant Carpio. Who are you? Geraldine on the table, too. <laughs> we might not. Why the hell not? Well, because she's the referee. Not yet, Mr. Rowe. What's the merchandise? A child's dog. A doll? No musical doll. Lisa last saw it when she was in Montreal, and now she believes it is somewhere in this apartment. Well, how'd it get here? While Lisa was in Montreal at the airport, she met a very nice photographer by the name of Sam Hendricks. And she told him that she had to take the doll with her to the York Hospital, where her daughter was at. Now, Mr. Hendricks was most sympathetic. He offered to deliver it for her, but just before she he had a chance to deliver it, Lisa arrived here herself. What do you mean he couldn't find it? He couldn't find it. Lisa watched him search both these rooms and then finally pretending it was a film court, she left. That was last night. How big is this dog? Wait, there's other two pounds. Mr. Rowe, 
or die. Nothing has ever been so pure. That would be worth over 50 grand. Fancy yourself? No, children. Children. Let's not get too greedy. Let's find a doctor, shall we? start over this tomorrow. Tomorrow. Proud grandfather from Asbury Park will fall and ask Mr. Henderson to take some portraits of his family in Mr. Henderson's studio. One hour by Express was $75 and stay to dinner. Now that gets the husband out of it. There's a Volkswagen bus out the Mike! Ah, there you are. There's a Volkswagen bus out the car line. Staying here, Mr. Rope? 
just a quick look around in case I've forgotten something. We better stay with you then. Well, better not all of you together. I guess you're right. Come on then, Sergeant Carlino. Oh, one last thing. Keep that lock closet in there. It's not on the ledge. Is it? Well then, uh, this is I'm taking it with me. Won't they miss it when they come home tonight? The other one lost it. Then there's one other thing. Lisa told you an awful lot, didn't she? Lisa. You know how she worked. And about us. And she would never give you anything unless she had to. So what's your question? I'm just wondering where you've hidden the key to that lock closet in there. All right, you threw that door backwards and don't turn uh, that.
Gloria? Plus five, Mr. Rowe. Two plus five. 